Once upon a time, there were a cluster of little villages on the bank of a river, and it took thrill in plying a brisk trade. Then came traders from across the seas and turned the little hamlets into the biggest commercial hub in the East. Indeed, history is the foundation for the pillars of modernity to stand firm and protect the chronicles for the future. Calcutta, Kipling's chance directed, chance erected, midday halt of a trader by the name of Job Charnock, created its own destiny as one of the greatest cities of the world by the early 19th century. Proud of its history and propelled by its industrious citizens, the city gave birth to the country's oldest custodian of industry and commerce when on 19th of December 1833, 25 business firms signed a circular letter, thereby forming the first ever business chamber, which later blossomed into the Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry in 1853. Started by British and Indian merchants, it prospered from the 1850s when large managing agency houses assumed its leadership. The Bengal Chamber is a parent body of industry associations spanning tea, jute, engineering as business promotion in general, including the Apex National Chambers. The Bengal Chamber has played a supportive role to the development of infrastructural services, railways, electricity, telephone, gas, postal services, shipping and waterways. The Bengal Chamber has been associated with the setting up of the country's first business school, the Indian Institute of Social Welfare and Business Management, and also the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. It has helped to set up landmarks in Kolkata, like the Academy of Fine Arts, the Auditorium at Nazrul Manch, Woodlands Nursing Home, and a spectacular Sonnet Lumiere show at the Victoria Memorial. During Calcutta Municipal Corporation's formative years, the Chamber helped CMC in formulating a number of important civic legislations and practices, which played their own critical part in establishing Calcutta as a preeminent metropolis in the world. The Chamber became the first port of call on matters of federal and state government policies and legislations, many of which the Chamber reviewed and commented upon before their passage through the Parliament and the Assembly. The Chamber was involved in the conceptualization of the airport at Dum Dum and the Howrah Bridge and had lobbied for the creation of overland trade routes with China through Tibet. The Howrah Bridge, which is a famous symbol of Kolkata, West Bengal and India, was the third longest cantilever bridge at the time of its construction and is the sixth longest bridge of its type in the world at present. The arguments in favor of constructing such a bridge across the Hooghly River had figured in the Chamber's correspondences as far back as 1855. The Chamber had since 1860 focused on the utilization of waterways for commerce and transportation and the Chamber's records include many references to the desirability of constituting a river trust, exercising jurisdiction over the 120 miles of pilot's water that lie between Calcutta and the sea, thus leading to the formation of the Calcutta Port Trust in 1870. The Chamber has always stood by and with society. From inculcating in our children the need for a sustainable natural environment, which will in turn help create a secure future for the generations to come, to being the chief relief distributor during the Great Bengal Famine of 1943, to aiding war-affected areas and taking up relief work for Cyclone Isla-affected villages in the Sundarbans, a World Heritage Site, the Chamber has taken CSR as one of the guiding principles for business operations. 
history has also been kind to the chamber, since quite often we have written it. It was therefore appropriate that history was created all over again when we had Sri Pranab Mukherjee, President of India, honouring the chamber as our chief guest at the AGM in September 2013. Because normally the President does not take part in the AGM or other functions of the Chamber of Commerce and Industries. I made an exception because of my nostalgic feeling along with the city and the organizations associated with it, but also because of the fact when I was told that perhaps this is the oldest organization in India and for long 180 years it is moving on. The President expressed his unequivocal love for Kolkata and for the Chamber, which had influenced his decision to address, for the first time ever, the AGM of a Chamber of Commerce. Sri Mukherjee said that the Chamber had provided yeoman service to the nation for 180 years and wished for it to do so for the next 180 years. For 180 years, you have rendered yeoman service to the community. I wish you to do so in the coming 180 years. Throughout the ages, the Chamber has been fortunate to receive the blessings and support of the personalities who have led our nation as statesmen and led the path of progress for a proud India. In this journey, we have been blessed to have had interacted with icons who have steered our teeming millions with their leadership, vision and compassion. Our local area development initiatives, our outreach activities and project-led approach in the northeastern region of India and our international business linkages with overseas partners are all torchbearers of our ever-expanding activities. Today, the Chamber's range of operations is diverse and evolving over time. The Chamber has indeed assumed a multifaceted role while also focusing on catalyzing a city of analytics for leveraging the big data revolution in the world. Our linkages with overseas governments, businesses and institutions are growing stronger by the day and we have created very relevant B2B platforms for both inward and outward investments by hosting delegations and taking regular business missions spanning continents. कि हो ना ही जाने कारा भाने को तो मानुषेर धारा दुर्बार स्रोते इलो को था होते शोमुद्र हुलो हारा को तो मानुषेर धारा हिथाया आरजो हिथाया आरजो हिथाया ओना आरजो हिथाया द्राबीड़ चीन शाखुन दाल पाठान मोगुन एक दे हे हुलो लीन पोष्चिमे आज खुली आचे दार शेता होते शबे आने उपोहार दिवे आर निवे मिला बे मिली बे जाबे ना फिरे ये भारों तेर मोहमानों बे शागुर तीरे जागुरे धीरे Much is happening in the East today, but much still remains to be done. The doors to the world are now open. In this new environment. Bengal can find its destiny and become the gateway to the East, including new horizons beckoning in Southeast Asia and China. The Bengal Chamber shares this truth with the people of the region.